Welcome to Codex Digest and today we will see how to install OpenCV in PyCharm. So installing OpenCV in PyCharm is uh, uh, not difficult but definitely different. Okay, so I would encourage you to watch this video fully and uh, in case of any issues, please let me know in the comment section. Okay, I have other videos also on feature engineering and R model deployments. Please do check out those also. So, uh, uh, coming on the topic to install OpenCV in uh, in PyCharm. So, let us say that I have created this particular folder. Uh, this is my project folder in PyCharm. So, to install it, what you have to do that you should click on the file on the top corner. Then you should click on the settings. Okay. So, if I click settings, so you can see that there are multiple options here. You need to click on this project icon. Okay. So this is basically my project. All right. Now, if I go and select Python interpreter, then you can see that these are currently my install packages, the NumPy and all those things. Okay. So these are my install packages on this interpreter. What I'll have to do that I'll have to click this uh, plus icon. You can see it saying install. I will click here and now I will simply type open CV. And to be more precise, I can type OpenCV hyphen Python. I will select it. Okay. Now, <clears throat> what I'll have to do that I will have to click uh, install package. So I can just simply click install, and you can see that the version is 4.5. Okay. So that is the latest version. I have selected the install. Okay. So now it is getting installed. All right. So now my OpenCV has been installed successfully. You can check out the message here. It says that. OpenCV Python installed successfully. I will close this window. I'll say all right. Thank you very much. Then I will go and simply write import and I will write CV2. Okay, so it will automatically pop up the suggestion for you. Okay, so now uh, let us say that I will write my image and I have this image here in my directory. Okay, and that is coders digest.jpg. So that is the my YouTube icon. So I will write cb2 dot I am read cb2 dot and then I will have to write uh, I'll have to write I am read so I will write I am read and then what I'll have to do that I will provide the image file that is coders digest dot jpg it has uh, auto filled it okay now let us say that i want to load it into the color i will provide the flag is one then i will simply write print and i will provide my image okay and now if i run it so uh, so for running it uh, all you have to do is just click here and run okay so now <clears throat> it is running this file and you can see in the output that basically it has printed uh, the array or you know the uh, bitmap of my image so what i will do that i will simply uh, read this file into or show this file into uh, uh, as it is so i will say that cv2 dot im show so i am so is basically uh, the function and uh, the title let us say that my thumbnail I want to show it like this the title and I will say my image okay and now let us say that if I run it and I'll say run okay no not now uh, I will have to do some more thing so basically uh, I will have to do that uh, I will have to provide it some wait time so that uh, it waits for some delay and it uh, basically shows my image correctly and then after I will say that cv2 dot destroy all in all windows so what it will do that it will basically after showing the image and after this much delay it will basically uh, shut down or uh, close all those window where the images are being displayed so let us say that I will say uh, I have provided cv2 dot wait key and then I am simply destroying the window so you can see that after 6000 uh, milliseconds the image has been dis uh, destroyed automatically so the window has been destroyed okay 
So this is basically all about how to install uh, OpenCV on PyCharm. And this particular demonstration shows you how to uh, uh, read an image. And this is quite a large image, so it is uh, showing very large. And let us say that if I want to show it into the grayscale, then you go, oh, I did not save that earlier. OK. And this is basically you can provide a zero for the grayscale. So you can see that it has now displayed this image into grayscale. And these are all the things you can go and check out on the website of OpenCV. What are these parameters and uh, how you can play with them? So this is all about this video. If you find this video helpful, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And again, thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in another video.